first guest today is a great big movie star. His new film, Sinister, opens in theatres October the 12th. Take a look at this. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom a little bit. Please welcome Ethan Hawke, everybody. Good dancer. You like oh, my dancing? Yeah, I'm telling you, that was some sexy stuff you were Yeah, doing. really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That rattled you, your cage you, a little bit? Yeah, you must have your way with the ladies when you want to. I mean, I, you really... Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. No, now it's like, of, isn't Grandpa kind of cute? No, no. It's <laughs> so different now. That movie looks really scary. It is scary. It, I mean, really scary. Like, when that a lady came out of the box there... Like, I'm, doesn't that frighten you to make a movie like that? But seriously, it's actually a young boy is coming out of the box. He's going to be horrified that you just called him a lady on the national TV. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, you know, it's, I, either way, he's cute. <laughs> Look, as long as he thinks I'm a good dancer, what the hell do I care? Yeah. Uh, that's, well, that, whoever came out of that box, box scared the crap out yeah. of me. That's what I was like, ah! Oh! Well... You know, what's, the, what's the movie about? About a box-dwelling infant? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a land of people that live in a box. It's, right. No, no. It's just a straight-up horror film, and, um, you know, the point of it is to be scary. I think... Y yeah, yeah. I don't good. exactly know why people like to be petrified, you know? I, I find life scary enough as it yeah, is. Me too. But I think part of it, it my theory about it anyway, is that at least when the movie's over, you're kind of grateful... That it was, just, it was just a movie. Yeah, right. you know, I mean, you can go back to going to work and being scared of your wife and scared of your friends and scared of your job, and because at least some giant monster is not coming out of a box. You, well, I, you, you called the kid a giant monster. I only <laughs> called him a lady. <laughs> I got to get my eyes checked. I really thought that looked like a lady. Maybe I was thinking about a lady. Yeah. Well, if it was a lady, she, well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but I thought she would have been topless, yeah. and then it wouldn't be able to be on TV. I mean, come on, no, use your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. it's this show, though. That's a different thing. Okay, yeah. you can get away with stuff. Yeah. That's all right. How are you doing otherwise? Do you ever watch a scary movie that you've, that you've made and go, that's too scary, I can't watch it? I've never made a scary movie before. This is my... Uh, I don't know. I've seen a couple of your movies. I was scared. But they, <laughs> I just gonna say we're bad, you know. <laughs> um, but you know, a straight up horror movie, you're right. I haven't seen you in a straight up horror mm -hmm. movie before. That's it's like, but have you, you've seen it, right? Would you, like, you, would you let your kids see it? I showed my kids, I have a 10 year old and a 14 year old who both really wanted to see the movie. So I showed them the trailer and they told me that, Dad, I'm not old enough to see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty. They took themselves out of the running. Yeah. Probably for the best. What about you? Do you go see horror movies? No. No? No. A little so. bit. Sometimes. You know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I used to like horror movies, and then yeah. it was one time I was tripping on this excellent acid. Uh, right. And, uh, which, uh, no way am I condoning in any way. <laughs> but it was the best time of your life. No, but you're it was not horrible. Gonna, it was no, horrible. Because I went to see Poltergeist. And, <clears throat> and I watched it, and just as the, you know, they moved the tombstones, but they didn't move the bodies, mm -hmm. I came on, well, and I'm like, I saw it four times, I couldn't move. I think I'm stuck the, there all day. In the acid handbook, one of the first things I think it says, when dropping acid, don't go see Poltergeist. <laughs> I think that is lesson number one. Yes, in, in, you're in, right. Yeah. So, uh, what have you been up to then? Are you, uh, I always think of you as being very New York-y. Uh, well, yeah, I live in New York. Yeah. I'm doing a play in New York right now. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing Chekhov's Ivanov. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, Chekhov. So. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that he thought when his work was translated to English, all the jokes were taken out. Yeah, he did call them comedies. It is weird. He calls them comedies, and almost all of them, somebody kills himself. And yeah. I don't really see the humor. Not that funny, yeah. But, yeah. but no, I think if you do them right, they are funny. But that's well, like, the trouble is like most wear big shoes or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you have a dancing horse come yeah, out, you know that, that works. That, that works. Check off all the uh, yeah. Where's my horse? <laughs> I don't have a horse. I don't have a play. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows he's. Yeah, that. no, you yeah. got to do it. Yeah. But you're not actually originally from New York, are you? No, I'm from Texas. See, I don't think of you as being a Texan. Yeah. All right, yeah, very good. But where are you from? You're not from Texas. I actually, I'm from Texas. Yeah. I, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I, I just I'm from Austin, Texas, which is a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. 
You're very different. What part of Texas are you from? Austin. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see you there. I, I would have thought I'd yeah, 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 no. No, no, Funny. I, I, no I've been to Austin, Texas. You from Austin, Texas? Yeah, born there. Yeah. Well, that's a, it's a little different to the rest of Texas, isn't it? It is. It's a little weird. It's the, like, it's the Vermont of Texas. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except Vermont and Texas are the only two states that were actually independent republics. They're very similar. Yeah, that's true. I always think, apart from the size, like I always get a feeling in Vermont and Texas, they'd be quite happy just going, we're good on our own. Yeah, they are. Yeah, we're going to do with they, it. Uh, you know, the, Texas is a weird place because they had Ann Richards as a governor right before George Bush, mm. which is, you know, they're two polarly opposite politicians. Yeah, yeah. But well, Texans just like a rebel. You know, you don't care if you're left or right as long as you... Well, you're yeah. from Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, all yeah, that matters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you go down there for the South by Southwest thing down there? That's where we first showed this movie. Really? Yeah, that was where I first got... I mean, this has been an education for me. I never made a, a scary movie before. And I tell you what, it's so fun to watch this movie with a big group of people. Yeah. And see everybody get petrified. And then they laugh right after it, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, understand it's weird. It. Yeah, they go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, get me the hell out of here. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, what kind of movies do you like watching that? To be honest, the movies are like my great passion. So I basically like anything. everything. Yeah, I really I do. I'm one of those. I didn't not like a movie until I was like 27 years old, and it, then it was just because I was jealous that somebody else made it. Right? Yeah. No. I, <laughs> it's funny that I think when people say, you know, what's your favorite song or what's your favorite movie? It's kind of dumb, really, isn't it? Because it's like, you know, what's your favorite thing to eat? I know. What but depends you do on have, the day. You do have Leonard Skinner backstage. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that is cool. Yeah, it is. That is yeah, very is. cool. I was I was walking by them on the way here today. I was like, wow, this is. Yeah, it's Leno Skinner. But I, you were you're still playing Led Zeppelin in between the thing. You got to sure. put put the Skinner on, man. Yeah, no, no, I will, I will. Okay, but, right. we have them here. I didn't want to I didn't want to play Leonard Skinner during the breaks and then have them come out here and yeah, then right, think right, like right, you right. know they're not okay. the boss of me, right. man. Yeah. <laughs> Still on your own show. Yeah, I, I, I right, still, right, it's right, not right. like I'm crazy fanboy. Roll tight! Like, you know, like, you know. All right. Do you ever go down to Alabama? Uh, yeah, I was just in Alabama. Were you so, really? Yeah, I took my daughter to the Civil Rights Museum and did all that kind of. Good stuff. for you. Yeah. Good for you. That'd be an interesting thing. I haven't been to that. You haven't? No, I, I like all that. I've become fast. I'm reading that uh, 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 Team of Rivals book about. Oh yeah, Abraham uh, Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doris Goodwin. You read that? I have it. It's very big. Well, it's very. I'm only yeah. like 100 pages. It's fascinating. Yeah, because it, it, I, I know nothing about the Civil War, well, and I'm like, whoa. But you know. you're from Texas. You yeah, gotta, I know. I you should. Learn right. About yeah. stuff, you know. No, it, it's uh, fascinating. But she wrote a great book on Franklin Roosevelt too. No Ordinary Time. Yeah. And so she's a great writer. Yeah, we should have her on the show. Oh, she's probably too good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I mean like writers. She's a terrible like, dancer. Is know? she? And she won't dance with horses, and you know, it's a then problem. she's no historian I care to know. Even. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that once a day. Yeah, I know you're right. Yeah. We have to take a commercial break. Are we we have a commercial doing? break. We'll be right back with Ethan Hawke. Okay, Ethan Hawke, who lives in New York now. You live in New That's York. That's true. Right, I right. Do. You're going to be there next week. Jeff and I are going to be in New York on Saturday. Oh, are you going to come see my play? Yeah, sure. What, where's it on? It's on the Classic Stage Company. Yeah, we'll yeah. come see. What time are you on it? Uh, what? Uh, 8 o'clock. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. You're, you're in bed by then? No. We, right. we got a thing. What thing? Yeah, we're doing a little show. You're doing it? Oh, you're doing your show? Yeah. Oh, you're doing your show do, in Do the stand-up show, yeah. Oh, well, why don't you have me on your show, then? Sure. Uh, Can you, what, how long are you on during the play? About four hours. <laughs> uh, I, I, I couldn't do stand-up for four hours. I, the audience would turn on me. Yeah. They'd turn on me after me about an hour and a half. They'd be like, hey. You sure it's on. an hour and yeah. a half? Yeah. yeah. An hour and a half's a long time for stand-up. An hour and a half, yeah. You can do it? Yeah, Is that scary for you? Not until you mentioned it. Now I'm crapping my pants. I always think about that. It's got to be absolutely petrifying. No, not at all. Not at all. It's, it's kind of like... Is that how you started? Yeah. Doing stand-up? Yeah, I, I started doing stand-up. I like doing it. I like doing it, especially stand-up when you're in a, a theater, because they're, you know, the, none of these guys are there, so they can't say, don't say that, don't say that. Yeah, right. You can <laughs> do whatever you want. you yeah, damn yeah, well yeah. please. Something comes out of your head, you say it. There's nobody going, eh, that's not on the script. You go, oh, that's no script. Right, right, right. Do we like It's total, total freedom for a performer, which, when you get to it, is that's fun. But what happens if you're not feeling it? 
I mean, what if... Do you ever, fake it, man. Just fake it. I've been doing that my whole nah, life. Nah, you haven't. Yeah, I have. No, you haven't. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. just like you, you feel it, you get yourself to it. You know, you work up to it. It's like a musical instrument. You go, you play it, you yeah. know? Right. And once you start to play it, you feel it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You trying to talk me into doing stand-up? Yeah. All right, I start all of a sudden feeling like I'm yeah, being yeah. sold something. I think I, you should do stand-up. You think so? Yeah. I'm not funny, though. No. I mean, it, look, it, you've seen some of the guys working? Come on. It's <laughs> yeah. I can do better than some of them. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Mm. A, a couple of good writers, you know, a, a, a big pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A goofy hat. Goofy hat. Yeah, you know. Always does all right. It. Anyway, we're out of time. Okay, uh, well, that's how funny I am, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, <laughs> Show's you want, over. You want a piece of fruit? <laughs> Wow, do you throw this at guests that do a bad job? No, I mean, the, guess, the guess I like. Here's a special new piece of fruit. I don't even know what this is. Like, this looks like some kind of weird torture uh, implement. I thought it looked like a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> or, maybe, or maybe yours is more like that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yourself to any of the produce available from California's <laughs> fine markets. Uh, what, is what, what, what part of the episode is this? I mean, we're, we're selling fruits and vegetables now. I mean, when, hey, you should be here. I thought Jeff we were Garland's selling. On, uh, promoting some ice cream parlor across I, the street. I know, and it made it sound good. Oh, not you as well. <laughs> I tell you what, you're going to sell a lot of Arnold's books, I think. Yeah, you know? not me, buddy. Are, we, are, are you a fan? What? Am I a fan of the book? I haven't read the book yet. Well, no, I'm not talking about the book. I'm talking about Arnold. <laughs> and I'm talking about <laughs> I grew up on Arnold. You yeah, know? I guess I did. I, you know? I, I loved them in the Terminator. I loved the Terminator. Movie. I loved it so yeah, much. Yeah, they were fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we have to say about that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you have can't you say something nice, I yeah. guess. Have you had them on your show? <laughs> no, man. No? <laughs> Something tells me you're not gonna now. Well, well, I don't know. Do I need them? Because... <laughs> it's like I have a synthetic version. Mm -hmm. I know. Anyway, we gotta go. Uh, no fruit? Uh, you know, I'm okay. okay. But, I mean, if you want me to take some... No, if you, if you hate America so much you don't want to support our farm... <laughs> Is that a banana in your pocket? <laughs> I'm just glad uh, to see you. He's an hog, everybody. Thank you. My first guest tonight is an Oscar-nominated actor. Two films out right now, Before Midnight, and take a look at this. Whoa. I just went to the bathroom a little bit there. <laughs> Ethan Hawke, everybody. Ethan Hawke. Say this, but what's that? What's that? I, I don't. I don't want to start. No, I, I really don't want to start. Okay, okay. You you paid them to do no, this? No, no. I'm telling. They the these people have come from all over town. Yeah. <laughs> no, they love you. I never. Well, do you guys them. agree with me about this? I, I was waiting to come on, and I was watching you out there, and I noted to myself that you are an extremely good dancer. Thank you very much but indeed. I, I, Thank you. I also had the thought that I wouldn't want to see you drunk. No, yeah, no, you wouldn't want to see that. That's... You, I could imagine you in one of those English pubs, you know, just mm -hmm. kind of at the jukebox, oh, shaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then somebody, somebody doesn't like me dancing, and then I'm yeah. like, oh, 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 and then. And you think you got to say something yeah, funny, yeah. and next thing you know, blood. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Did that ever happen? Were we even in a bar together? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I think I have yeah, a big recollection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Um. <laughs> hey, uh, that yes. movie looks really scary. It is really scary. It's a scary movie, then? That's the idea. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> I thought for a minute it was a comedy. I'm like, you, it, it's wow. not funny at it was all, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it was a little creepy. Yeah, it, it really was. Very, that's the one where everything goes nuts. This is no, the, the idea of this movie is it's kind of... Uh, a sci-fi thriller it takes place in the near future where after America's been through some Great Depression and the country's put itself back together by having a purge night, these new founding fathers, where once a year the whole government shuts down, no cops, no hospitals, no nothing, and everybody gets to do what they want. So if your boss is getting on your nerves, you don't have to sue him, you want to get out of your deal, you just wait for the purge, purge night, and you kill him. What? 
Yeah, and so it's kind of chaos for a night. In this way, now some people are against the purge because they think... I can't imagine why. Well, they think <laughs> that it's not fair that rich people are safe in their gar gated communities and the poor people are getting killed because they think it's the government's conspiracy... Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's keep... a social message on here. You're I... sneaking it in, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bit the idea. Right. But don't... Shh. No, no, that's yeah. uh, it's outrageous. Yeah. The, uh... Oh, no, I, now this is the one that's been freaking me out, though, because the, the posters are all over town, like the purge is coming, and I'm thinking it's real because I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I've noticed, noticed that over the years. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not like, extremely bright. You're funny, but I'm you're funny, not bright. I'm funny, but not that smart, you no, know, no. I, but a good dancer. <laughs> it's all that matters. Now, the other movie you've got out, no one's killing anyone in that movie. No, no, that's a romance. Yeah, that's I different. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one now, where you, you walk around talking and kissing and stuff. <laughs> that's generally what they do in romantic movies. Yeah, yeah. what do you prefer, kissing or purging? <laughs> <laughs> I, I find a nickel every time I'd ask somebody that. I, I really don't know how to answer that because there's something that sounds so sexual about purging anyway. I don't know. It's like, it's... Uh, well, it's, I think of purging as more kind of binging and purging, you know, like... Uh, rah, rah, rah. I, guess I, I guess I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking of rhymes with urge, that oh, kind of thing. Oh, purge, I, I have an urge to purge. Is that in the movie? <laughs> You should use that on the poster. Have you got an urge to just, purge? Just say it to the camera right there, you know. Say, say I have an urge to purge. I do. <laughs> well, say it. It'll sell the movie. All right, then. I have an urge to purge. <laughs> it's no, I it didn't it work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it did, it did work. It did work. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the other movie is called Before Sunset, right? No, no, no. After Sunset. No. Purge Sunset. No. It's called Before Midnight. Before Midnight, that's what I meant. Obviously. When does the sun set? That's In certain parts of the world. No. Midnight. The first, can I speak? All right, Before Midnight is a sequel to a film that we did nine years ago called Before Sunset, which right. was the sequel to a film we did nine years before that called Before Sunrise. All right? And I know uh, you were drunk when the first one yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, were, you were dancing in a club. You missed it. But it was very good. No, they're very good movies. That, this is the third one. But that, that, is that what I just said? Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, the third one, yeah. But there's there, no purging. <laughs> there's nothing scary at all. It's with Julie Delpy. It's very I know. Romantic. She's here quite often, actually. I, I love her. Yeah, she's a lovely woman. Yeah. She likes you. Well, I like her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. I yeah, think. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. Do you live in a gated community? <laughs> uh, I do in the film. Yeah, but you don't in real life. I mean, I, you're, life, you're the New quintessential York. New Yorker, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, Manhattan or Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I always thought he was Manhattan. Well, that's because I just moved. See, I was right. Yeah. When you moved, did you move yourself or did you hire people to move for you? You hired people Where to move you for you. Of course I did. Yeah, I know. I would do that too if I had money. Yeah, well. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ethan Hawke, everybody. Right, right. I was just talking to Ethan Hawke there about something that you can't know about, but it was to do with the purge. Yeah. Very private. Yeah. Very. Are, you play, are you playing golf? Yeah, I think of you as a golfer. <laughs> no, man. I, 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 golf makes me, I don't know, I, incredibly uncomfortable. That's only because you're hip. Really? Yeah. I think if you give it a shot, it'll be fine. Are you a golfer? No, not for a long time, but I've started about six months ago. Oh, really? And? I, I, do you have, like, a temper thing with the golf no, clubs? No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't see that. No, See, like, man. on Purge Night, don't give him a golf no, club. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Well, well, no, I'm interested in golf. What's on your mind about golf? Well, I was just thinking I'd quite like to play a game of golf with you. Really? Yeah. What would, what would we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me we'd talk about Julie Delpy. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, think yeah. So. I, I saw a little spark in your eye there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, yeah. she's a very attractive woman. Yeah, she is. And she's funny and intelligent. Yeah. I, I like all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you would like her. I do. Yeah. <laughs> she directs those movies too, doesn't she? She directs her own movies. She's, right. made, she's made five or six films. Have um, you been in a movie she's directed? No, I haven't. Has she ever directed you, even though it wasn't a movie? Like, she go over there and do that? everybody around her all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. Is she yeah. A little yeah. bossy? A little bossy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you a bossy man? Um, I don't know. Nah, you're not. I can tell I you're not. So. No, you relaxed a bit there. You went, eh, 
Yeah. But if you were bossy, you would have went, no, like that, yeah, <laughs> and then I would have known. Ethan, yeah. We're out of time, Ethan. Okay, well, I appreciate having me on your show. Yeah, well, you know, it's awesome for us. Well. <laughs> Some, uh, sincerity. No, I'm Rip serious. No, you know, I, well, you, you, it was just, you know, I'm not used to people being genuine, that's all. Really? Yeah, I live in L.A., come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, you should come to Brooklyn. I will. <laughs> Brooklyn? You just, you can't. Ay caramba. Ay caramba. You know, I mean, I, 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 I'm yes, you can. You. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I'll go to Brooklyn. I'm soon. <laughs> On Purge Night? <laughs> <laughs> I like Brooklyn. I've been in Brooklyn before. Yeah. They got that steakhouse there. <laughs> yeah. Peter, yes. Peter, Peter yeah. Luger. Yeah, that's great. Have you ever been there? Yeah, he, he saw like an ad on TV. No, no, no. It's like, Brooklyn, I don't know anything about it. The no, Dodgers, not Peter true, Luger. not true. I no. know that the, the steakhouse is there and they've got great fries and they cut the bacon this thick. The bacon? Yeah. Well, is it a big bacon place? I don't know. Well, not, not all of Brooklyn, but that steakhouse says. <laughs> no, you want bacon, you need to go to Canada. That's, you know, <laughs> this is much further away than Brooklyn. That's true. That's Unless you're in Canada. <laughs> In which case, you're quite close. Yeah, you're, it's right there. You might as well go. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Ethan Hawke, everybody. We'll be right back.